Hey everyone, welcome back to Art Attack Creations. Lately I've been playing with fluid art and having a lot of fun just painting and letting things flow. I used to do a similar thing with uh, resin and mica powders and I would create, you know, waves. What if I was to use mica powder and put it directly into my flow medium rather than using paint? Okay, so like you're gonna paint with like no paint. Right, okay, okay. I just wanna try this. So I thought I'd take you guys with me on my little experimental journey. All right, let's get started. Okay, got all my supplies out. Got my pouring medium, my mica powders, my awesome silicone little beakers. Those are great. The cell medium is from Master's Touch. And I'm going to mix everything up here. I've sped up the video because you know what? I'm a YouTube viewer as much as I am a contributor. I value your time and I know some things just don't need to be seen. The consistency is what's important here. I want the fluid to flow on the canvas. All right. I don't have white mica powder, so I am gonna to have to use paint for the white uh, mixed with uh, Floetrol. And I'm going to be adding some cell medium as well so that I can hopefully get some bubbling action going on. This is a mess. This is gonna be a mess. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I'm mixing the white paint with some Floetrol because I heard it's really good at making cells, which is what I really want in order to make it kind of look like I have waves on the canvas. That's the idea anyway. I'm working with this white to try and make it the same consistency as the other colors, so I have to add some water and stir it up and just kind of test the dripping. And then, of course, I add the silicone. Okay, um, time to pour. There we go, look at that pour. It looks like paint, it's moving like paint. Look at that, I want you to freeze and zoom in. Just look at the depth of that color. These mica powders are beautiful. All right, I'm just gonna be quiet so you can enjoy it. You don't need a play-by-play -play here. Everything's going so smoothly and at this point I'm so extremely happy. Look at those cells forming and I'm going to blow them out and we're going to have some waves like a really angry ocean. It's so pretty. Just give it a minute though. This is this is where I start to go, oh man, I did it again. I did it again. Can you figure out what I did? I need to learn restraint when it comes to cell medium. I always put too much because I never think I'm going to get the effect that I want, which inevitably I never do. Maybe I need a different cell medium. I should try like soap or something. All my fluid is now on my canvas and I'm watching these pits, like the pit of cartoon just pop up all over this painting. So I'm using my popsicle stick and whatever paint that I can draw out of my beaker and trying to uh, stop them from forming or fill them up when they do because these aren't just little cells these are pits that go down to the very canvas so I can't quite fill them all so I end up moving the paint on the canvas uh, to again cover up the canvas again it's me it's me and my crazy uh, overzealous silicone dripping medium Look at that. Just, just, oh my God, that's so disappointing. I'm going to do this painting over again. I, I know I will. Look at those pits. Oh my goodness. I had to do it again. Um, I was able to find some white mica powder and I only used one uh, drop of the silicone. Um, and, and the results are beautiful. I mean, it really is something that can be done so the experiment is a success if you don't have the color you need and you happen to have mica powder on hand go ahead and use it it works who knew i didn't know people probably know but i didn't know so i thought i'd share it with you that's it for this week guys uh thank you for stopping by i really appreciate your support
I will see you in the next video. Bye.